We're gonna go. Oh, shit. Oh, ow. Asshole. Hey everyone, my name is Jeremiah Mao, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be starting a new world. Uh, I want to say I'm not going going to be dropping the other world, but really, that kind of, kind of came to a standstill and there wasn't much to do, and what needed to be done uh, was going to take hours of, of like off-camera uh, uh, doing, like, it would require me require me to do a lot of um, off-camera stuff, and in case if something interesting happened, obviously, then it wouldn't be caught on camera. Um, but I decided I'll go ahead and go from a different approach. Instead of doing small bits of stuff in each video, I'll be doing a lot of stuff in each video. So maybe this series will go by a lot faster. Then in the end, if I, if I have any good, maybe creative ideas, I can, ye uh, I can, implement them um, in my world, but um, I'm also going to be giving myself uh, a, a, a little a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a difficulty Although this is not Java where it's hardcore and once I die the world deletes itself um, I <clears throat> I set it to hard mode um, and hard mode I mean isn't much different from normal, but um, it definitely does have its things um, Usually the mobs have armor on. Not all of them, of course. Um, uh, so things are going to be very difficult or just a little bit more challenging for me uh, to do. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and immediately go over and get some wood because I don't want to be caught out here in uh, during the night because if it's hard mode... Then, as far as I know, the mobs give more damage, and they are also harder to kill. As far as I know. I'm not even sure, because I've actually never done hard mode. So this will be interesting to face the Ender Dragon, because I've actually never defeated the Ender Dragon either. So, you know, this will require maybe some googling. Kind of cheating, but also not, maybe? I, I, I don't know. Um... I definitely know uh, uh, there will be a lot more death than there was in the last series. Although, there was a lot of death in that series, this series is going to be like probably 10 times what it was last time. Um, I, would like to f I would like to find a village actually, because if I can find a village, I found, found my house and found my food for the first episode. And possibly, if there's a cave nearby, I, I also found where where I will, will be getting my resources. I'm not going to have... I'm not going to be having fun in the nether. Mostly because I died in the nether. Mostly due to ghasts. And throwing myself into lava. All the time. It was always fire. It was always fire and lava. That got me. Not always, but you know. Now, I want to hurry and get myself to a village, but you know, I might not, I might not even find a village. But we're going to try at least to find one. If not, then I'll go ahead and just use this wood to make a tiny fort or tiny little house. To live in for the night. So you know what? Let's go ahead and just get right. Uh, let's go ahead and get right into it and get get to work. Um, over here's some cobblestone, so I don't have to dig underground to get it. I can just get it from over here. Then I'll make a stone a stone sword, and I'll kill off some of these animals for food, so I can cook it through the night. All right, here we are. Now, let's go ahead and get some food, because we're going to need it. We're going to need as much, as many hearts as possible if we get hurt. So, you know, and if we can't regenerate those hearts, then we're definitely screwed, because I think the skeletons are a lot more accurate. And they'll be out during the day, too, 
because they'll have helmets and stuff on to which will prevent them from burning up. <clears throat> Getting quite the pork. Even more pork. Nice. Now, let's get some wool so we can sleep through the night. Because I might not even have anything to do through the night after cooking. This definitely seems like a very nice... A nice area to be in right now. I got lucky with the animals. I got lucky with with the wood. Like things seem to seem to be doing just fine right now. And that's for now. Wait, maybe an episode. Wait, maybe two. And I just might be dead. Now, if I wanted to, I could just implement a rule of if I die. That then I have to uh, end the series, but I'm not. I'm not going to be doing that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and um and, um and just make it a lot more difficult. And maybe, j just maybe, I'll get better at the game. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to get hungry. Uh, just so I can not starve. I'm going to go ahead and just start cooking right now. Actually, no. Let's use this to turn that into charcoal. Any other animals nearby? Let me go ahead and clear out all this grass. See, it, I'm going to see if I can get some seeds because then I can grow stuff on top of the house as well. I don't want to have a huge farm like I did it in the last series, although it was nice and convenient. Uh, there wasn't exactly a purpose for me to have it when I mostly ate meat. Here we are. Okay, um, got, so, got some seeds right here. Now, let me go ahead and just continue getting, uh, knocking some of this grass down. Because the more seeds the faster I can have a decent sized farm. Okay, I'm trying to conserve my hunger just because pork and steak when cooked gives you four hunger bars and I'm trying to get the perfect amount right now just just so I don't have to waste two food to have a full hunger uh, a full hunger bar if that's even the right way to say that I have a full stomach. So I'm also trying to save on my food as well. At least, at least in the beginning. Because later, later down the road, I mean, I probably have hunted so much stuff that it won't matter. But in the early stages, it does matter. Let's actually let's actually head back so I can cook my food all the way. Let's do that and get rid of that. There we are. <clears throat> now I'll be back. I'm I'm just going to go ahead and get some wood because night is going to be coming fast. It always does. All right, I see the sky slightly dimming over on one side so that means that night is coming like I said now actually if I wanted to be smart about this I I might as well just dig a hole into the side of the mountain just so I can also uh, do some mining through the night and also because I, um, I don't want to waste my wood right now I just want to continue mining for a while so let me go ahead and just dig myself a, a little burrow. Maybe this will help me. Ah, I gotta wait. I, I mean, I don't have to, but I kinda do, just so we can have that last pork chop cooked. Why I wait, I might as well just cut this tree down. But I have to hurry, though. <laughs> 
because, like I said, the mobs don't mess around at all. I was on a hard a hard mode world once. Uh, it was one of my friend's worlds, and it took me at least four hours just to get anything situated, just because. Um, well, not only did I spawn. Not only did I spawn in uh, 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 during the night, but also they, also the mobs had uh, had like helmets and stuff. So even if I wanted to go back and get my stuff, they would still be there. And you know that was the annoying thing about the mobs, um, is because the hard mode like makes them definitely. A lot more harder to get rid of. Now I don't know. I don't know if their if their hearts are like multiplied or, or if they have more hearts or if they're just strong or if they have like a resistance or something. But whatever it is, I, firstly I don't like it. But secondly, it makes things so much more harder. So that's why I figured I, I might as well do this. Now I think I'm hearing a husk. Because th that doesn't sound like a drowned, but it doesn't sound like a standard zombie. So that might be a husk. I could be wrong, but the desert's like nearby. Alright, well, we have our bed situated. Alright, now the mobs are going to be going away. And then I'll be able to head out. Let's have my sword ready. Okay, so they weren't husks, but they didn't sound like a drowned or standard zombie. So they were the zombie villagers. That makes a lot more sense. <clears throat> Those guys are a lot more accurate now. Although they were basically like US military trained sniper rifles um, before. Now they're like that, but like times two. I'm surprised they didn't actually shoot me. Okay, let's head off. Let's head off in one direction and hope we find a village. I mean, the world's infinite, so we're bound to at least find one. Nah. I was going to kill it, but I figured. Eh. Now, this looks like a nice place to actually build a house. Like, it's not so close to the water where I have to deal with the drowns all the time, time. But it's but it's all but also I kind of like I like being near the water, so I can get get on boats really fast. But like I said, I'd ra I would rather not deal with the drowns because they were a pain in the butt because I had that river that just surrounded my house, so they would just come out of nowhere. All the time there's also plenty of caves nearby and since there's obviously grass um, I can plant stuff or animals will spawn and I don't have to have farms although that wasn't really ever an issue before but like at least I have a look I have a higher chance of finding animals in this area because of the grass and oof what a way to go get smacked then fall to your death rip but I'm thinking, um, like, like this might be a decent area to set up a house, because it's big enough to, of course, do that. But, like I said, there's caves nearby, uh, there's not water, like, directly in my area, so the drowns won't see me, just because of how far I am away from the water. So let's go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, and just get some of this wood, more wood, um, and we can start build, building our house here. I mean, I could use the acacia wood right now, but eh. I mean, it's nice wood, but I think it would look a bit ugly in this kind of area. So I might as well use the standard oak and maybe birch. 
anyone who actually likes acacia, like good for you, but just there are some places that it that certain blocks don't look nice in. And I think acacia wouldn't look too good here unless if I built it in a certain way. But and I usually just build your standard boring house. What would be cool though is is if you could if you could dye blocks. Like imagine painting a house in this game. So basically Ooh. just imagine seven days to die painting in Minecraft. That would be nice to do. <clears throat> so instead instead of having a standard oak house, I could paint it blue, red, green, white, w without changing the actual look of the wood. But I can change the color of that wood. Now, I like the idea, but I don't know how Mojang thinks of that idea. Do they think it's silly, or have they... Someone's bound to have actually mentioned it, or brought it up, or thought about it. Someone has to have at least once, right? I'm waiting for this axe to break. Like... Right there. I was like, it's gonna break any minute now. Okay, so although we are in hard mode and the mobs don't really like me, especially now, and since they're a lot more, sh like, since they're a lot stronger now, um, you know, I should just be building my house and not worrying about the looks, but it's daytime and we have time. So we're going to go ahead and just make the place look nice at least, you know? Okay, so this is how big it's going to be. Um, the reason why why I'm doing this is because I don't want to really make a second floor. I mean, if, if I have to do anything involving storage, like if I have so much stuff that it re requires me to add another floor, I'll just dig out the basement to be equipped to store stuff instead of building up a second floor. And let's say if hypothetically I was to have a second floor, it would be integrated into the roof. So like my roof design would also allow for something to be in there. So basically an attic. And I might do what I did last time and I might use it for my enchanting and chemistry stuff. But uh, other than that, I really don't have a, have a purpose for a second floor. Now let's find the center block. And let's see if that's correct. Yep. All right. That's our that's our center. Now let's go ahead and uh, take out this. Let's take out the area. And build our floor. Now, if I wanted to, I could probably use the acacia wood for, uh, wood for the floor, but mm, I might just save it. Although I can get more acacia wood later, like I feel like I might actually use it for something, like maybe the dock. Maybe I could just burn it. Just to state, I have nothing against acacia wood, but I prefer using the wood that is around me when I build a house. So if I if I have dark oak wood in a, let's say, birch forest, it might look alright, but I don't think it'd fit. And especially with acacia wood, which I definitely think does not fit that well. If you can send me nice designs uh, for acacia houses, then maybe I'll consider building a house out of acacia, but otherwise I don't see much. Um, or, or s since I'm a crappy designer, um, obviously I'm not going to be building anything out of it. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and get some birch just to build the floor. Okay, I think it's starting to get dark again. 
So we just got to do this quickly, then place down the block for the door, then put the door on, and we'll be fine. We'll, we'll be safe. Unless if creepers can register you're there behind doors, then in that case we are screwed. Because they just blow up, they blow the whole front of the house off, then, you know, mobs can come in and attack us. To be honest, I wish I had a better graphics card, or I wish I had a graphics card in my PC, so I can get Minecraft and play the Minecraft Walking Dead map. Because I, I used to watch many videos on it, and it always looked so interesting to me. But, of course, since I have bedrock, you can't do that, which is kind of disappointing. To be honest, um, I think I've might, I might have already spoke about this, but I think that, that bedrock is possibly slightly worse, in my opinion, than, than Java. Mostly just because of the mods. Like, I mean, if, like, if you can implement the things that we ha currently have now in Bedrock over into Java, then, th then it's like, I think Java would definitely still take it the cake. Just because you can have mods. And before you say Bedrock has mods, un unless if you're, you, you are on phone, then no. Because what... What Bedrock has is add-ons, which takes existing blocks that's already in the game and just re and just replaces the skin and texture. Which I mean is fine, but it's like, what if I don't what if I don't want to sacrifice blocks or or an animals, but I still want to have these certain blocks or these certain uh, these certain animals or something. It's like then that's where the mo uh, then that's where mods would come in, <clears throat> and it's if I'm if I am correct, because uh, the uh, the Java edition has an open source script which basically allows you to actually modify it. Why in Bedrock, you can't do that. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It uh it. If I can't have mods, but it definitely makes things so much more interesting than right now. Like if I could have uh, uh, the Crazy Craft or the Galacticraft uh, mods or something like that, or Sky Factory or uh, Skyblock, Sky Factory. It's like uh, um, whatever it's called. Um, if I could have those, that would be really cool. But obviously, since I have bedrock, I can't do that. Which which is kind of a bummer, but not the end of the world. Like I said before. Okay. So, um, I might as well. No, I'll do it in the cave tomorrow. I was going to suggest I go out, or I, I dig underneath the house and start mining. But then I, I, I figured it might be a waste because I'm just because tomorrow I'm going to be going out into the cave and I'll find a lot more stuff in that cave than, than I would just doing branch mining or strip mining. So let me go ahead and actually just toss my bed down and sleep. All right, new spawn point. Yeah, we can toss all this in there. We don't need all this right now. Since we'll be heading down in the mines, we can take that. And we can take the acacia wood. See, acacia wood is useful. As as wood to be used in a mine when, when there's no wood down there. It really sounds like I am biased against acacia wood. In a sense, you can say I am if you want. Oh wow, I used my birch wood. Okay, I have an excessive amount of sticks. I think I might have accidentally hit Y. 
Oops. Okay, let's not go over there and deal with those mobs yet. Let's go back and look and see if I missed any iron. Because <clears throat> in big spaces like this, it's a lot more easier to miss it. Just because there's so much more ground to look at. I like how one one water source block can cause so much annoyance and chaos. And I like how a decently sized cave can have so little in resources apart from coal. And it only takes like two veins. Two, maybe three veins to fill your inventory completely up, so... Okay, so uh, so I'm going to assume assume that there is a, another cave nearby, or else these mobs wouldn't be, or else the mo these mobs would be showing up. So I want to dig a around just a little, just a little bit, just to see if there's anything. Well, found iron. Well, I found the cave. Nice. Okay, sounds like there's plenty of mobs. You wanna go? Oh, shit. Oh, ow. Asshole. Okay, let's get out of here real fast and recover. Because that kinda hurt. Let's, let's just cover that up for now. Okay, at least we didn't die. I thought I thought I was gonna die for a minute. Might might seem like an over exaggeration, but like if you don't know how shitty I am at this game, then obviously, then, like if you know how shitty I am at this game, then obviously you would under uh, you would know why I, I why I was scared I was gonna die. Cause I tend to do that for no reason. Just me existing. I, I like in any game I play, I tend to just die for no apparent reason. Okay. Well, um, I, I'll go ahead and do some work over here um, instead of over there with the skeleton, because in water, those skeletons are pretty hard to handle. And since they're a lot more accurate now, obviously I, I don't want to mess with them. Let me go ahead and just get this little bit of iron, then I'll end the video as I'm heading back up to the house. Okay. Alright. Uh, if I can push just a hair more, see if I can get four more, to, just so I can get a full iron set of armor. Okay, you know what? Let's head home. Okay, so, um, today was not actually a bad video. I got so much more done, I figured, instead of, instead of trying to, not exactly, like, instead of just going through a video and doing just a few things in that video, I might as well just do a whole bunch of stuff. Just so things move a lot more faster. So basically, basically, this re requires me to do just a bit more editing, just because I have to cut out a lot of silent silent parts, but at the same time, there's a lot less to do, or not not a lot less to do, but it's like you guys aren't just seeing me build, build one building in a video. You see me, let's say, building three buildings in in a video, just because I cut out all the boring parts that don't even need to be there. I mean, like how long the recordings will be for you guys. Is probably going to stay about the same, but for me, for recording wise, it's going to take me a lot longer to record them just because of how much stuff I am trying to trying to cram in those videos. Okay, let's go ahead and put these in here. <clears throat> there we are. Now let's cook our food. Let's go here. Put this one acacia block in there. Put all those sticks in there. Let's actually take out. Half of those. Um, we can put the coal in there. We can put that in there. 
All right. Yeah, so I think this will be probably the end of the video. All right, so I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think of the slightly new, slightly different style of how I make videos. Um, leave a like. Uh, suggest suggest some games you think I should play or some things I should do in this series. And I will see you guys all later. Have a fantastic day.